this problem is 1.37 in this one we have these circular cylinders a b and c the weight for a is given as w and b and c here their weights are w over 2 and w over 2 now in this we need to determine the maximum distance d between the centers of the half cylinders to maintain equilibrium so basically when we keep on increasing this distance d here at some point this cylinder here will drop down and these b and c will be separated from each other now there is a coefficient of friction given f here and this is only between the ground and the half cylinders and there is no friction between cylinder a and b and similarly a and c so now what we will do is we will draw the free body diagram of these three cylinders so let's say this is your cylinder b this one is cylinder c and this one is cylinder a right here so let's put the names b c and a we are going to have their weights so these are w over 2 w over 2 and w right here in normal reactions so i'll call this one as n b and this one as n c and in terms of friction this cylinder will go to the left hand side and this one will go to the right hand side that's the tendency of motion so since friction opposes this motion so here it's going to be f times n b and on this side it's going to be this way which is again f times n c now if you see that these cylinders are also in contact and that contract force will be along the line that is connecting these centers so in terms of force on this one here and this one here they will be opposite of each other so this is f a b in a similar manner there will be a force here which we can call f a c in terms of geometry here this distance right here is b and we can mark these angles here as theta so now we can look at the forces on cylinder a and if i look at the forces in the x direction we can see that f a b sin theta this component will be towards the positive direction and this has to be balanced by f a c sin theta where this is f a c right here so from this equation clearly we can see that f a b has to be equals to f a c now the y direction force on this will be f a b cos theta plus f a c cos theta equals to w since f a b is equals to f a c from this we can write down f a b equals to f a c is equals to w divided by 2 cos theta now let's look at cylinder b on cylinder b if you look at the x forces we can see that your friction force which is f times n b will be opposed by your f a b sin theta component and similarly in the y direction we will have n b this is going upwards so this needs to be balanced by your weight plus f a b cos theta component and you can see this this f a b cos component is going to be downwards so if i substitute the value of f a b here i can get the value of n b as w divided by 2 f tan theta and going to the second equation if i substitute w divided by 2 f tan theta in place of n b this is equals to w over 2 plus f a b cos theta from this equation is nothing but w over 2 so now we can cancel w w from both sides and you can see that your tan theta is nothing but 2 f and so now if we want to get a relationship between the distances and theta here so if i focus on this triangle right here okay 
So basically we are looking at this one here. So this distance here is d over 2 and this distance right here is 2 times radius and since this angle is theta we can write a relationship for this is d over 2 this is 2r and this one is theta so you can see that 2r sin theta is equals to d divided by 2 so this means your d is equals to 4 r sine and if i replace theta as tan inverse of 2 f i have a relationship for d in terms of your coefficient of friction and distance r